Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone. I hope that you're having an amazing day. I'm excited to be connecting in with you. We are getting so close to the holidays. I hope you're starting to feel that holiday spirit. I know I am. I'm leaning into wanting to start to hear Christmas music. I can tell the holiday spirit is coming. And a lot of what I'm spending time thinking about are the things I'm grateful for, the things I am thankful for. And as I reflect back on 2020, which I know has been so different than any of us saw, thought it would be at the beginning. <laughs> and there are so many things I've discovered and I've learned and opportunities to go deeper and get closer to people, even though we are more socially distanced. There's been a, a deepening in conversations I'm grateful for. There has been an opportunity to showcase amazing experts with and share them with all of you, their wisdom, their encouragement and inspiration. And I'm very grateful for that. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of you being part of our lives. It's such an honor to be on this journey with you. And I want to thank you for leaning in today for this opportunity to connect in heart, mind, body, soul, and spirit in a real authentic way on the journey and life that we get to have together. And our mission is to encourage and empower you to live on purpose and with purpose. So that means as you're tuning in, you get to receive today. You don't have to be anything, do anything during this time, this show, it is for you to pour into you. So be open, breathe air in, be ready to receive. Be willing to be fully present so we can pour into you and you get to be supported. You get to be poured into. We're so good at running and around and doing and accomplishing things on the to-do list and helping lift up so many others. And so right now, this is an opportunity for us to lift you up, to pour into you. But in order for you to get the most out of our time together today, it's important to choose to be present, fully present, mind, body, soul, and spirit, not just in body, checking it off the list, but choosing to be open, to slow down for a moment and be ready to receive everything that is here for you today. I have two amazing guests, both international best-selling authors that are committed to helping support teens and second choices that we get to make choices in our life no matter what. And we want to empower you, uplift you, and support you to make those choices that are in support of you so that you can move forward and build and create and lean into those things that are most aligned with who you truly are and are choosing to be. So welcome thrilled to have you joining us today. And to support us slowing down for a moment, I'm going to encourage you to take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, almost like you're pushing air out through a straw. Take another deep breath. It feels so good. <laughs> Bring oxygen to every cell of our body. It helps us to physically slow down, lowering our stress levels releasing what no longer serves, bringing in all that does, creates room and space. So you're actually still enough to hear that still small voice in you that sometimes we're moving so quickly, we don't pause and give it attention or listen to the wisdom it's trying, it's trying to speak into us. Or we're so busy we can't hear and receive what's around us. So this is your opportunity. In fact, let's take a moment and really go deep. Close your eyes. You're absolutely safe. Another beautiful breath. Put both hands on your heart. Feel that beat. And a beat. And the beat of your heart. And what is it that you need today? 
What is it that will encourage you, support, uplift you? What is your heartbeat sharing with you today that you need and are willing to receive because you have choice? So what is it that you need and are willing to receive? We're not talking about how. This is just what are you open to receiving, willing to receive that you need real time in your life right now. Let's just identify that. Receive that information. Okay, great. Let's take a breath. Come back into the room. Fully present, eyes open, and take a moment to write that down, that information, that wisdom, that reminder that you received, that you need and are willing to receive so that you can keep it top of mind. You can be actively on the lookout and you're actually looking forward to the amazing and unexpected way you never saw coming that this need is going to be met. So you're leaning in, looking forward with anticipation to how this need will be met today with arms open. Beautiful. So with that, I'm going to go around our virtual room here and touch in with our amazing experts and see when they took a moment to listen to their heart, what was laid on their heart? What message did they receive in that heartbeat? And I'm just going to have them share 15, 20 seconds what was laid on their heart. And with that, Dr. RJ, I'd love to start with you. What was laid on your heart? Um, actually, just um, clarity in the vision. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that's what it is for me because, uh, you know, I understand with, with uh, meditating, you know, patience is a go-to word. Um, it's mm -hmm. something, you know, that I, that I have very little of. Uh, so I never really ask for patience, but clarity, uh, because it makes me feel like that, um, you know, I, I can get there faster. Oh, beautiful. I love that. More effective, right? When it's clear, <laughs> those next steps. Yeah. <laughs> oh, beautiful. I love that. You know, my mom used to always say with these really big eyes, she would say, never pray for patience. <laughs> <laughs> ever, ever. You learn it by experiencing it. <laughs> so I love I love your wisdom, clarity, and vision. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> well, you're How welcome. Yeah, absolutely. How about you, Jerry? What was put on your heart? Well, as I was thinking about it and what I was feeling, it was sort of spiritual. Mm -hmm. And so I was kind of feeling the peace and feeling the acceptance and contentment of where I am today, you know, and I think that kind of helps me to feel uh, comfortable and more relaxed. So that's nice. what I was feeling. I can feel that as you're sharing that piece. It's like emanating out of you. <laughs> um, yes, 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 absolutely. <laughs> Love it. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> and you're listeners, welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. And and listeners, how about you? When you took a moment to stop, pause, and listen, what was laid on your heart? And um, did what Dr. Uh, RJ has shared and Jerry have shared, have, has that added another layer to that? Um, it's always good to give yourself an opportunity to feel in and see where you're at and what message is coming forward. We're getting ready to go to our first commercial break. And as we do that, that, I want to encourage you to be still, to um, take these two minutes just to be. That is enough and receive everything that is being spoken to you. And we're going to continue our conversation, have beautiful insights and information shared by our experts. But let's hear what's being spoken within us so that we can be open and ready to receive all that's going to be shared with us. Uh, we'll look forward to continuing our conversation in just two minutes. Be sure to friend us on Facebook. You can do it right now. Visit Facebook.com forward slash Voice America or search for us at keyword Voice America. 
announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Get Unchained. Tune in every Monday for Jane Unchained on the Voice America Influencers Channel. Featuring nationally recognized, best-selling author, TV journalist, and social media influencer, Jane Velez Mitchell. This program takes you inside a trending lifestyle that's the next wave of human evolution. It all starts on your plate. If you want to revolutionize your life, get happier, more energized, then discover the secret. Tune in to Jane Unchained Mondays at 10 a.m. Pacific Time and 1 p.m. Eastern Time on the Voice America Influencers Channel. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Have you had a chance to check out Voice America's online magazine and blog? If you love our hosts and shows, check out articles that give an even deeper perspective, plus topics about health and fitness, movie reviews, philosophy, business tips and tactics, spirituality, positive thought, current events, and even more about your favorite host. It's just a click away at blog.voiceamerica.com. That's blog.voiceamerica.com. The Voice America Press Blog. All access, all the time. We don't follow, we lead. Join us, the Voice America Influencers Channel. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-472-5795. That's 1-866-472-5795. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes. You had that opportunity to be still for a little bit. It can sometimes feel a little foreign and strange, or it can feel really good just to stop and listen and see what message you're receiving, see what's being spoken into your heart and to your spirit. Or And sometimes our bodies are trying to share information with us and we're too busy to listen. So it's so good to have those moments of stopping, pausing, and breathing. And just in two minutes, you can get such valuable information as well as by pausing, breathing, integrate what will serve and then move forward with purpose. And I'm going to borrow a word from Dr. RJ earlier in clarity. <laughs> you can get great clarity of that next clarity, step yes. in two minutes. <laughs> so I love it. And I'm very excited to introduce our first guest, Jerry B. Bowden. He is an international best-selling author as of last night, late last night. So an international best-selling author. We're celebrating that. A speaker, singer, tech founder who has overcome abuse and addiction to experience his days of glory. As a professional singer, sharing the stage with musical greats like The Temptations, B.B. King. He is the president of Revealio and co-founder of the Tech with Heart Foundation. And he is passionate about reminding people, especially youth and teens, that you always have choices no matter what. And you can always rise again. We all make mistakes, but we can choose differently and step forward powerfully. Please lean in and warmly welcome the powerful and dynamic Jerry B. Boat into the show. Welcome. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Rebecca. I'm so happy to be here today. It's a wonderful you, opportunity to share. 
You are so welcome. I'm thrilled to have you and here today. And it's it's so exciting, like hot off the press. We announced it this morning, right? International best-selling author. Congratulations. Best-selling. <laughs> well, well, thank you so much. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I, it's just been a, a, an amazing accomplishment. I, I didn't realize it was going to uh, go as far as it did and take off and be as successful as it has been. So it's been a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience. And so I'm happy as can be today. <laughs> well, we are excited to get to celebrate with you and to to have you joining us today. And um, I'd love for you to share a little bit about why it's so important to you to reach out to the youth and to those who are looking for second chances. Why Why is that work and that mission personally so important to you? Well, I want young people to believe that their lives matter and that, you know, if they can establish purpose and, uh, and move forward and, and conquer uh, adversity, because I did just that. As you, as you mentioned, uh, I uh, experienced poverty and I experienced abandonment as a young kid and as a young boy, but yet I had such strong desire to overcome. And so when I got educated and uh, I uh, got my faith in God, uh, everything else just fell into place. So mm-hmm. I kind of want to, I want to encourage young people to know that uh, that they can realize their dreams and that uh, their circumstances do not uh, uh, limit them and yes. that their mistakes do not define them. Mm, beautiful. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. And I know this this desire, this mission to really reach out to the youth, you have um, – you elected to bring your story forward and you recently launched your book on Tuesday, the 17th. It was, it was launched and released and it um, shares your life story and the wisdom that you learned as you were building your own wish sandwich in life, which is the, the title of the book. I'd love for you to share a little bit of why you decided to share your story and uh, bring it forward in a book um, and, and even the, the care and how the cover was designed. I know that was all tied into what you're hoping the book would do. So I'd love for you to share a little bit about why you decided to bring it forward and the impact you're hoping that it will have. Okay. Yeah. As you know, I was uh, uh, raised in Brooklyn, New York. So, uh, part of the cover design shows the uh, Brooklyn Bridge, and uh, it shows uh, some uh, high rises that are in Brooklyn. So the the kind of gives a feel uh, that this book is about someone who grew up in a, in a pretty uh, tough place and uh, to rise and overcome adversity. So I I have been uh, hearing from people for years that I should write a book because. Uh, my real life stories were so uh, unbelievable and intense. Uh, And so I uh, decided that I would go ahead and write a book and I finally got it done, as you know. (laughs) And uh, I I realized that, uh, you know, that writing this book, it it would help people to uh, see uh, how I was able to overcome adversity and how I was able to move past a lot of things in life. Uh, like, uh, you know, I was in the children's home and I was in a, a war zone. And so this book brings uh, forward all of those things that I experienced in life to where I am today. And so I'm just so happy to share that with people. Mm. Well, thank you for being willing to open up your life in that way and to share your, your story is very um, impactful. And I'm always struck by how, positive and warm and open you are. Um, I just, I feel like when, when I first met you, you were just always so warm and, and welcoming (laughs) and that that's who I knew (laughs) as Jerry. So um, it was, it's such a privilege to get to read the story and see the journey that you went on. And I appreciate 
all of your journey and who you've become and um, your willingness to reach out and, and lift up others. So thank you for leaning in for being willing to bring your book forward um, it is on amazon uh, where people can get it in a kindle format it will be available soon in a print format so make sure to watch for that release and for those of you who heard the title wish sandwich and may not know what a wish sandwich is because i know there's been some intrigue around that uh, jerry would you tell us what is a wish I'll be sandwich delighted. i'll be delighted <laughs> Well, let me tell you a little bit about where it came from, the the, the, mm -hmm. the uh, term wish sandwich. When I was a kid, we were so poor, and we should just kind of signify how poor we were. And one of the things that were said is, uh, I'm so poor, all I had was two pieces of bread and wish I had some meat. So mm -hmm. what I did is I used the metaphor to describe my life uh, circumstances and changes that I went through. And so basically... It says life, it is, life is like a, a wish sandwich. You have a beginning and an end slice. And what you include or choose to include in your sandwich is entirely up to you. So you have all kind of life ingredients that can make up your sandwich. So that's wow. how the, uh, the title and the book came about. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Um, I love that we get to choose what we're putting in the sandwich, what we're adding to it, how we're um, building it. And will it be satisfying and rich? <laughs> um, I know you ask some of those questions in your book as you unfold each each layer in the sandwich. So I, I love it. And as you um, brought the book forward and it became a um, bestseller, then a number one bestseller, then an international bestseller, that journey, um, what was that like for you and what um, surprised you in that? Well, uh, what it was really overwhelming, an overwhelming feeling. Uh, I, I didn't think or believe or know that this book would have that kind of impact. And so when I learned that it was a, a best-selling, uh, international best-selling book, and uh, uh, it just was it blew, blew me away because I'm, I'm thinking it had more of an impact than I, I had uh, realized it would. And I was thinking that I probably would not, you know, at first I wasn't thinking that, uh, you know, there was something I would do again. But now that I'm having the kind of, now that I see it having the kind of impact it's having, I'm thinking about writing another book, but I definitely oh. am planning to do a lot of speaking and speaking engagements uh, to young people to encourage them and to, uh, uh, you know, uh, just uh, offer uh, my insight, you know, mm -hmm. blow, uh, uh, an opportunity of hope into their lives that you can overcome. So Beautiful. that's what I plan to do. That's what I hope to do. I love it. And I love that that's planted that seed in you that maybe I have more <laughs> that I could write and bring yeah, forward. Exactly. That's yeah. open that, that question and, and exploration. And I love that you're leaning into uh, sharing your wisdom, your insight and your experience to, to lift up others. And I'm looking ahead at the, at the holidays here because they're just around the corner. That's what we kind of opened talking about. Do you have a tip, a reminder, something to encourage people as they are stepping into holidays that uh, maybe look at a little bit different this year? Um, do you have something on your heart that you want to share to uplift and encourage um, youth and, and families today during the holidays? Uh, I would say that, you know, Considering knowing that COVID is uh, 19 is, is pervasive and it's everyone's kind of uh, being cautious and fearful of it. And I would suggest lean on your faith and know that God's got this and that, uh, you know, that you can carry on knowing that God will have your back and mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, you just keep loving your, loving your brothers and, and serving your friends and helping people, I think that's that's what the holidays is all about, is, is helping and serving others. And so I think that's a good way to approach it. Beautiful. 
Thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you joining us today. And uh, listeners, at the end of the show, we're going to let you know how you can connect with Sherry and go deeper. And uh, But with that, we are actually getting ready to take our next commercial break. And as we do that, I want to encourage you to think about over these next two minutes something that you can do to lift, encourage, support another, and reflect on what are you currently choosing to put in your wish sandwich and is that the sandwich you want to build because you've got the beginning slice you have the end slice are you paying attention to what you're adding each day in between those slices we'll look forward to continuing our conversation in just two minutes Think you've seen everything there is to see in online television? Let us surprise you. Visit voiceamerica.tv today for sports, health, business, and more on demand 24-7. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Sustainable success is just around the corner. If you are an entrepreneur, business leader, or anybody looking for their next level of success, tune into Sustainable Success with host Chris Salem. Did you know that the path to success is a long path that started many years ago? The path you started on then determines what is happening now. Chris and his amazing guests in their field will help you navigate the path to sustainable success every Thursday at 12 noon Eastern Time and 9 a.m. Pacific on the Voice America in Influencers Channel. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Tune in to the Voice America Variety Channel on the Voice America Talk Radio Network. Voice America Variety broadcasts a diverse array of topics, reaching a global community. Our experts come from all walks of life, and the topics they discuss are everything from current events, arts and entertainment, leadership, parenting, relationships, self-improvement, career advice, and a variety of other topics. Check us out today. You're sure to find something of interest. Voice America Variety. Talk on today's hot topics. Change starts here. Change starts now. Join us. The Voice America Influencers Channel. Listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or a comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1 866 472 5795. That's 1 866 472 5795. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed taking some time to reflect about your own wish sandwich and some things that you can do during the holidays to uplift and encourage others. And I find that also helps us uplift and encourage ourselves. Uh, So excited to have you joining us today as we are talking with two amazing international bestselling authors. And I'm very excited to introduce our next guest, Dr. R.J. Jackson. He is a number one international best-selling author, a board-certified orthodontist, and a certified teen life coach. I always think of him as, by day, he's helping smiles on the outside, and by night, he's helping smiles on the inside. I love the mixture and the combination. He specializes in transforming confidence in preteens and teens through his special style of coaching. 
He is a podcast host currently ranked in the top 25 for parenting podcasts. He's been quoted in major media such as CBS, NBC, Fox, MarketWatch, Ask, and Boston Herald, just to name a few. (laughs) And he is committed to supporting teens to develop confidence and happiness so they can step forward powerfully and purposely and with confidence in life. Please lean in and warmly welcome the powerful and confidence building Dr. RJ Jackson to the show. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I hope you picture arms raised coming to the stage. I literally had my arms <laughs> up. <laughs> so that's the yeah, energy. Secretly, I did too. I did put my arms up. <laughs> oh, see, see, <laughs> I love it. I love it. So we're connected. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, I'd love to start with why. Why are you so passionate uh, about helping teens? Why does this work call for you? Call to you so deeply and powerfully. Yeah, so um, as you know, I'm an orthodontist, and part of the reason I became an orthodontist is because, you know, I really uh, wanted to focus on developing confidence for teenagers and create smiles and happiness. Um, Mm. So early in my career, uh, I realized that creating smiles on the outside was not enough. Um, Mm. You know, I started to see teenagers, you know, we get a perfectly straight smile, we're all happy, and the teenager has has their head down. Uh, So, you know, we had a moment where a parent asked me to remove the braces off of her child. And uh, it was because she was suffering from an eating disorder. So Mm -hmm. for me, you know, uh, I'm a believer and I was, you know, really praying and asking like, what, you know, I need to do more. Like, what else can I do? And, you know, once we found that therapy did not work out for, um, you know, it reminded me of life coaching and my experience in life coaching. Uh, So I pursued life coaching um, really to help uh, the teenagers start to create those smiles on the inside. And, you know, the funny thing mm-hmm. about it is like a month after I completed my certification, I was able to help her develop confidence and she no longer, uh, even to this day, she doesn't struggle with body image issues at all. So uh, mm. that was my little confirmation that I was on the right path. How beautiful. Um, thank you for sharing. And I love that that you listen, that that really uh, you have been true to your mission, you know, why you started as an orthodontist and still an orthodontist to this day and the work that you're doing, but that you wanted to do more, that you wanted to go deeper and you really saw a way to help teens more and more. And I love how that came full circle that the one who yeah. the teen that inspired you in in that way um and had you questioning and really uh, your heart hurting almost seeking seeking what what more can i do um and then having that opportunity to even directly help her and i love that she's moving forward powerfully and uh, not struggling with those things i think there are many parents and adults that struggle with body image and so to help in those powerful formative years is is powerful so Thank you for sharing that story and um, some of why you leaned in. And do you have another uh, favorite success story? I love success stories. So since you've shared one, I'd love to know if there's another one that's coming to your heart you'd like to share as well. Yeah, absolutely. So, it, you know, this one I like is one of my favorite only because, mm-hmm. um, you know, it just shows you the, the power of our thoughts. So early on in my coaching career, uh, mom came to me to help her son. So mm-hmm. he struggled in math. She basically had three or four tutors for him. He still was uh, very, you know, struggling in that area. Um, so, I, you know, when he came to me, I made it very clear. I am not a tutor. You know, I'm not going <laughs> to be doing math problems, but I believe there's something deeper. And, you know, what I discovered about the teenager, uh, because he had pretty much straight A's in every subject except math. And I asked a simple question, like, you know, why do you feel like you struggle, you struggle so much in math? And his response was uh, very shocking to me. He, his response was, you know, uh, I, I don't have the math gene. And, mm. you know, so I told him, I was like, wow, that's something new. I haven't learned that one. You know, tell <laughs> me more about it. And what he was sharing was that, like, hey, he was just born not really, you know, understanding math. And what, we, what I really helped him to understand is, is, Everything is based on your belief system, your thoughts, because our thoughts will impact our emotions and our feelings, and that will ultimately impact the actions we take. And sure enough, that was his story. Um, you know, he'll go into math class. He'll already feel defeated. 
Um, he already put his head down that he can't do it. Uh, he didn't put as much time at home. He didn't enjoy doing it. And, of course, the results was, you know, he did not do well. So um, mm-hmm. after giving him uh, the awareness and empowering him to change his belief system, uh, that completely changed everything for him. And he went on to make straight A's. So yeah, I really love uh, sharing that story because uh, it just shows the power of our thoughts. And, wow. uh, you know, he was a perfect example of that. I love that. And being able to have him look at that and shift that um, is is so, so powerful. (laughs) Uh, Thank you for sharing that great, great story. I love it. And you also felt led to bring a book forward. So I'd love for you to share about your book, How to Train Your Superhero, that you were called to bring forward. And I'd love for you to explain a little bit of what this number one international best-selling book <laughs> was very well received, um, what it was about, and what you're hoping readers um, experience, and who are the targeted readers for this book? Yeah, yeah. So when I had this book in mind, um, you know, I really focused on the age group of the 9 to 12, 13 age group. And the reason I... Um, you know, really wanted to focus on that group is because in orthodontics, you know, we spend so much of our time on prevention, right? Um, So I wanted to kind of write a book that that will speak to a younger audience so they can start with the right foundation on how to achieve happiness or how to experience happiness. And, you know, oftentimes, and I found this out in my life, that, you know, everything that we search for or, you know, everything that we want in our life, there's uh, ultimately an emotion attached to that thing, you know? So obviously when we think of money and, you know, big houses and, you know, relationships, we always attach emotion like happiness. That's what we all want. Well, the, the, the wonderful thing uh, that I believe about how life works is that we have access to all of our emotions all of the time. You know, there's, you know, unlike money and other resources, if, if one person has more, one else has less. That's not the case for our emotions. We can experience as much as we want. Uh, mm-hmm. So I really want to share that secret uh, with the youth um, by teaching them how to experience happiness. And it all comes back to our thoughts. And, you know, I believe that's uh, like a, you know, a, a, a secret that most people don't know. And, you know, the book is really aimed to help uh, the youth understand the power of their thoughts and how they can manage their thoughts in a way to experience happiness. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. And it's um, how to train your superhero. So I know you you write it in a story format. Do you mind sharing a little bit about the superhero angle uh, for those who are leaning in? I know. I want to know more. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I'm a huge, uh, you know, superhero fan and Marvel and all that. Um, So I realized that, you know, a lot of, you know, the struggles in life and everything that happens in life, it all happens in our minds. So what I was kind of helping the the youth to understand is that, you know, they they have a superhero in their mind. The superhero is ultimately you. In other words, it's it's your ability to take on the mental realm or, you know, in your mind. You know, we we, we use funny, uh, kind of really fun imagery to help the the, the youth to kind of engage with it. But ultimately, they have the power to manage their thoughts in a way that would ultimately create a new reality. Um, now, you know, the point of the book and with the superheroes and the villains is really to help them understand that, you know, they can take control. They can be the superhero of their mind so that they can experience happiness. Mm, beautiful. Thank you so much for, for sharing that, tying it into the, the superhero theme. I love that. And um, I, where can people find your book? How can they get a copy? Yeah, you know, Amazon um, is, uh, you know, I think the most popular place that people will go for the book. But yeah, you can definitely find it on Amazon and it will be in bookstores as well. Beautiful, beautiful. And uh, How to Train Your Superhero, they can find on Amazon and it's in multiple formats, right? Kindle and print. Is that correct? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, so those of you who are looking for holiday gift ideas, we have Wish Sandwich and we have How to Train Your Superhero. So wonderful options and opportunities that you can lean in. It's very timely. And one uh, 
question I have is, as we're looking at the holidays, I know I asked this of Jerry, I'd love to know um, your tip or your piece of advice for teens, for parents, for families as we're stepping into the holidays. Is there something on your heart to encourage them, raise confidence, motivate them, um, increase their happiness, anything around those areas that's on your heart that you can um, give a tip or suggestion to those listening today? Sure. Yeah. You know, as Jerry mentioned, you know, this year, this pandemic has been tough and it's been a challenge for many families and even for teenagers. You know, I coach teenagers all over the country and, you know, um, things are just different. And what I always encourage them is, uh, you know, the statement that that I believe is that there are advantages um, and disadvantages in every situation. But uh, it's up to you to choose to focus on the advantages. And, uh, you know, I, I believe that this season, uh, these holidays can be in a great situation and great experience with, 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 um, with in life, even if, if it's not like last year when you had all your friends and family around. So I always encourage people to focus on the advantages and, um, and exploit those. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. I love that choosing our focus and then leaning in to those that um, are in alignment that we want more of that we can bring forward because we we do have opportunities we do have choices and we can choose where our focus is um, and I just tying into what you shared about emotions I love that reminder that we have access to a full range we can tap into we are not limited in any way in all the range of emotions that we can choose to feel and to bring in and to experience um, the richness of that. I want to thank you so much for spending time with us today and um, looking forward to at the end of the show, we'll let people know how they can connect and go deeper. Uh, As we get ready to go to our next commercial break, I want you to think about what Dr. RJ has shared with us. And is there something that is sparking your heart, sparking your spirit and that reminder that you can be your own superhero of your life, of how you're looking at things, at how you're building. You can choose what you're bringing forward. I think that's a really um, important reminder for all ages because sometimes we forget. (laughs) And I look forward to us continuing our conversation in just two minutes. Follow us on Twitter at VoiceAmericaTRN. Get the lowdown on guests, new shows, and your favorites. That's VoiceAmericaTRN. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. There's a new force to be reckoned with in talk radio. It's not just talk radio. Hosted by LaTanya Jr. and co-host Tina Wynn and Tony Brown. Not Just Talk Radio is like a superhero. Inspiring, problem-solving, and informing. Packed with action-provoking conversations from news, movements, and social and politics issues. This program is about a wide range of voices and fresh points of view from experts, celebrities, and you, the listener. Not Just Talk Radio is broadcast live Wednesdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific on the Voice America Influencers Channel. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Become a member of VoiceAmerica.com. It's easy and best of all, it's free. Start out by going to our homepage or any of our channels and click register at the top. Once you've created an account and signed in, you can create your own custom library, opt into our newsletter, search by show, host, guest, or topic of interest, or browse millions of hours of content across all of our Voice America radio channels. Membership gets you more. Visit VoiceAmerica.com today to get started and tailor the listening experience to your taste. 
We don't follow, we lead. Join us, the Voice America Influencers Channel. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-472-5795. That's 1-866-472-5795. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you had an opportunity to really think about being a superhero in your own life. And that just feels good. (laughs) So I feel like we're getting nourished with our wish sandwich that we are mindfully and powerfully and purposely building in our life and that we are empowered to to make those choices to choose how we're being, how we are showing up in our life. I'm so honored to have this time with each of you, our amazing guests, our powerful listeners. And I want to thank you for leaning into this time together. And I wanted to give each of our guests an opportunity to share how you can connect with them, kind of the best ways to do that and go deeper, because I want you to be able to have that access, to have that connection that can support you on your journey. So I've asked each of our experts to share. So I'm going to start with uh, Dr. RJ. What's the best way for people to connect in with you? Yeah, so we can visit my website, www.drrjjackson.com. Also, I'm on Instagram at um, Dr. RJ Smile. And, you know, a, a great, I think, resource is my podcast, A Teen's Perspective. Uh, I use that time to interview teenagers, and I share um, many of my uh, seminars that I host for teenagers as well. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. And what is the best way for them to find your podcast? Yeah, it's on all the Google Podcasts and Apple Podcasts, mm-hmm. but also uh, just go to the website, www.18sperspectivepodcast.com. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you for sharing. And your book is on Amazon, just in case anyone missed that. I want to make sure they they can find it there, um, How to Train Your Superhero. And Jerry, what's the best way for them to connect in with you? Well, you can reach me at Jerry B. Bowden, no spaces.com. That is my website. And you can also reach me on the Facebook uh, office page at Jerry B. Bowden. Uh, and that's Facebook office page. And uh, you can also reach me on LinkedIn and at Jerry B. Bowden. So uh, those are three good places to, t- to reach me and, and reach out. And I'm more than happy to talk with you. And uh, my mm-hmm. book is also available on Amazon. Mm-hmm. And uh, the hard copy will be released uh, in December. And uh, I just want to say one thing and, uh, about my uh, story, and that is there's three crucial things that I really relied on to help me get through my, uh, my, my uh, difficulties and my adventures in life, and that's faith, desire, and determination. And so mm-hmm. remember, you always have choices, and what you choose is entirely up to you. Beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate it. We can find Wish Sandwich on Amazon. The hard copy is coming out soon. And listeners, thank you for for leaning in, choosing to be here and present and connected with us and allowing us the privilege and the opportunity to connect with you and pour into you. And I want to encourage you as you get ready to go back out into the world and we're leaning into holidays and um, Thanksgiving that is coming up and they may be looking a little bit different this year. I want to really encourage you to take some extra time for you. Allow yourself to pause and be mindful and purposeful in how you're showing up. Take an opportunity to slow down a little bit versus always letting the holidays speed everything up. And because you are a precious gift to the world, you're absolutely needed. There's no one else made exactly like you. And when you shrink back or um, are so busy, you can't pause and connect in with others, the world misses out. So I believe the biggest gift you can give the world 
is more of you, more of you authentically, all of you (laughs) that you are bringing forward. So I encourage you to take some time for you, be extra kind and supportive to yourself so that as you're out there giving and lifting up and supporting others, you're doing it in a way that you're shining and sharing your gifts and sharing who you are with the world. That makes a huge difference heart by heart, life by life. Because you never know the impact we can have when we choose to shine. We choose to echo out what matters to us, to lift up another, to make them smile, to share the greatness that we see in them and remind them of that. Because sometimes we forget or we get so caught up in the busyness, we need that reminder, we need that encouragement, we need to remember that we are uh, and can be the superhero of our life, that we can um, choose what we're putting in that sandwich. And we want to have a satisfying, delicious sandwich (laughs) that our life is creating. And I want to encourage you to make those choices that are uplifting to you, that are encouraging you, and be willing to share and shine out the gift of who you are with the world. Have an amazing week. Have an amazing holiday season. And uh, Merry Christmas. Happy Thanksgiving. And I look forward to talking with each of you next week. Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Influencers Channel. And join us for a replay of the show every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine.